After raising Tabitha from the dead, Peter stayed in Joppa with a tanner named Simon. A tanner processes animal skins to turn them into leather. After living for quite some time at Simon's place in Joppa, Peter had a very weird experience up on the roof. According to Acts chapter 8, Peter went to Simon's roof to pray, but soon nodded off. While sleeping, he had a wild vision of all sorts of animals that Jews considered unclean to eat. The vision ended with God saying, do not call anything impure that God has made clean. St. Peter's Church on the shore of the harbor commemorates the vision at Simon's house and the healing of Tabitha. Now, churches have been built and destroyed here for centuries. This latest version was completed in the late 1800s by the Franciscans. For hundreds of years, a church dedicated to the memory of St. Peter has dominated the skyline here, serving as a beacon to pilgrims coming to the Holy Land by sea and entering the harbor at Jaffa. Now, I'll be honest, I've been pretty hungry before. As a matter of fact, I could actually go for some hummus and falafel right about now, but I've never been so hungry that I passed out and had a vision. Now, Peter's vision seemed pretty weird, and he had no idea what any of it meant. But as God often did in Scripture, it would all be made clear soon enough, because just at that moment, three men arrived at Simon's house asking for Peter. They said they were sent by a man named Cornelius. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion in what was known as the Italian Regiment. He and all his family were devout and God-fearing. He gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly. One day at about three in the afternoon, he had a vision. He distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord? He asked. The angel answered, your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now send men to Joppa and bring back a man named Simon, who is called Peter. He is staying with Simon the Tanner, whose house is by the sea. Acts 10, 1 through 6. Cornelius immediately sent three of his trusted men south to Joppa to find this man named Peter and bring him back to Caesarea. And while Peter was pondering the vision, the spirit said to him, Behold, three men are looking for you. Rise and go down and accompany them without hesitation, for I have sent them. And Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you were looking for. What is the reason for your coming? The men replied, We have come from Cornelius the centurion. He is a righteous and God-fearing man who is respected by all the Jewish people. A holy angel told him to ask you to come to his house so that he could hear what you have to say. Acts 10, 21 and 22. The next day, Peter went with the men to Caesarea. Now the cool thing is, we can still make this trip today. Caesarea Maritima is about 30 miles north of ancient Joppa, right on the same beautiful Mediterranean coast. Caesarea was an incredible port city built by Herod the Great to honor the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus. After Peter arrived here, he was taken to the house of Cornelius, a leader in the Roman military. Now this section of Caesarea is filled with ruins of upscale homes where high-ranking officials such as Cornelius would have lived. Now, maybe it was while he was traveling, or maybe it was the moment he walked into Cornelius' home, but somewhere along the way, the meaning of Peter's vision from God became very clear to him. He said this, You were well aware that it is against our law for a Jew to associate with or visit a Gentile, but God has shown me that I should not call anyone impure or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without raising any objection. May I ask you why you sent for me? Acts 10, 28 and 29. Cornelius shared his entire story, and then Peter responded, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him 
and does what is right. Acts 10, 34 and 35. Peter went on to tell Cornelius and his entire household about Jesus Christ and how he had first come to the Jewish people, but was now being declared to the whole world. Peter ended with this powerful statement. Everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins in his name. Acts 10, 43.